Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kwadash, the honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and sincerity, and also to you women and children, keep on enduring, because these prophecies are coming to pass, and salvation is very near. Okay, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh meaning he exists or he is to be. Yahweh Shai is his beloved son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai meaning he saves or he delivers. Okay. Rakan uh, Kodash is spirit holy, pronounced in English as Holy Spirit. Okay. Um, I'm your, your brother Bashar. And I'm coming at y'all with a quick lesson dealing with uh, being born again. Okay. Um, we're going to open up with the book of John, chapter 3, verse 5. Uh, Yahweh Shai answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you, thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. All right? So, what, is, what does this mean? Okay, what does uh, being... Uh, uh, born of the water and of the spirit All right well it means to be to be uh, reprogrammed you know you have to learn the way you have to become a new creature okay not necessarily a a new a, a, a physical new creature but mentally okay spiritually Okay, because right now, um, Israel is in the, is in a heathenistic state of mind, okay, and because they reject the knowledge, you know, scriptures say, you know, my people are, Hosea chapter 4 verse 7, 6, Lachia, yeah, my people are rejecting knowledge because they have to reject the knowledge, I will also reject, reject them and their children, okay, and so this is re um this is educating yourself on the ways of the Lord. Okay, coming back to the ways of our forefathers, you know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um and when I say our, I mean I'm talking about you so called African Americans, so called Native Americans, and so called Hispanics. You are the Israelites today. Okay, to you is only uh salvation given, okay. So, uh, this message is to you, this lesson is to you, all right, um, and I'm encouraging y'all to repent, uh, and, uh, just keep on learning, keep on growing, mm -hmm. um, okay, so back to the scriptures, uh, John chapter 3, verse 5, Yahweh shall answer, verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born of water, and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Okay, so what is the water? The water is this word. Okay. And the spirit is the, the, uh, the Holy Spirit. Okay, which often comes in the form of the angels. Okay. Uh, the word angel means uh, messenger. Okay, and... The Lord, you know, we're going to get some scripture, but um, we're going to expound upon all that uh, through the scriptures. But first, I want to bring out uh, Hebrews, Slack in John chapter 1, verse 14, proving um, Slack in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7. Um, let's get this Slack here. Bear with me for a second. Alright, it's the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 7. It reads, Then said, I lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O um, Yahweh. Okay. So, um, 
This is talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay. Yahweh Shai is he's already here. You know, he's here in the form of the Bible. Okay. Um, and to prove that, this is why we have to read the Bible. Okay. Because it's a part of being um, born again. Let's go to uh, John chapter 1, verse uh, 14, where it says that, uh, who is the word? Okay. All right, bear with me. This is John chapter 1, verse 4. Um, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Who is this? Who, who's the word? Who, who dwelt among us? Uh, again, this is Yahweh the Messiah. And we beheld his glory, we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Okay, so again, the word is Yahweh Shai. Okay, so now that we have, we have understanding about how um, Yahweh Shai is with us. Okay, and we have to read this word as a part of being born again. Um, we're going to go to, um, we're going to jump into the topic of who is the spirit. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to John chapter, sloppy at first John. Chapter 4. First John, chapter 4. Um, okay. For all, we're going to begin at verse 4. It's lucky for the wait. Ye are of the Most High, uh, little children, and uh, okay, Slavia. Okay, John chapter fourteen. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 20, 26. Okay. He that loveth me not, he that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father which sent me. Okay. Verse 25, these things have I spoken unto you, being sent, be ye yet present with you, okay? These things I have spoken unto you, being yet present with you, okay? But the comforter, okay, because at the time Yahweh Shah was here as, you know, in, in, the, in the flesh, um, Roughly 2,000 years ago. Verse. So, but this time he's going to come. Um, and um, through the knowledge, which and understanding, which we have it in the form of the book. But the true understanding of the book, we are going to get from the Comforter, which we're going to read right now. Verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit, whom the Father, the Most High Yahweh, will send in my name, Yahweh Shai. Okay, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, 
whatsoever I have said unto you. Okay, so this is that divine um, intervention. Okay, that the well, so before we were destroyed because you know we rejected the Most High. Um, again, Hosea chapter four verse six: My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they rejected knowledge. He will also reject us and our children. Um, but now the Lord is the Most High sent forth the Holy Spirit, okay, to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding um, of the Scriptures, okay, because there are there are dark sands in the Scripture. And plus, we again, we, we, we were destroyed. So we had no knowledge of ourselves. You know, like in 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 the early, you know, like when we were in hardcore bondage, you know, we were unable to speak our language. We were unable to speak about our history. And eventually throughout generation to generation, the Israelites, which, you know, you Negroes. African Americans, you so called, you so called African Americans, so called Native Americans, and so called Hispanics. Um, now, uh, you, uh, you are starting to wake up. We're living in that time. Pursuant to uh, Acts, the uh, verse 17, uh, we're waking up because it was prophesied that the Lord will. In the last days that he will pour out his Holy Spirit upon us. And we will wake up. We will start prophesying. Okay. And the reason why we are able to prophesy is because we have, um, again, the, the Holy Spirit that will, that will sit. That was going to give us remembrance of, of all things, you know. And um, and this is how we become born again. All right. If you have any questions, um, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha is Hebrew for please comment in the comment section. Put your questions in the comment section, and I'll get back to you. Um, hopefully, brothers and sisters was edified, Lord willing. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakapadash, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well, who taught me this truth, and our peace and salutations to hopeful elect. Shalom.